You may have heard a lot recently about people becoming infected with Strep A, a common type of bacteria. Disabled children aren't necessarily at more risk of Strep A, but if your child has weak muscles or struggles to fight off infections, ask your doctor's advice. Most Strep A infections are mild and easily treated, but rarely they can cause more serious problems which needed to be treated in hospital. This is called invasive group A strep. Making sure your child has their flu vaccine can help protect them against strep A. How do I know if my child has strep A? A high temperature, swollen glands and body aches could indicate a strep A infection. Other symptoms include a sore throat, a red rash that feels rough like sandpaper, scabs and sores, pain, redness and swelling in the skin, severe muscle aches, feeling sick and vomiting. What should I do if I think my child has strep A? Trust your gut. You know your child best, so get medical help if you think you need it. If your child doesn't seem seriously ill, you can usually look after them at home. Ask your pharmacist for advice about how to treat your child's symptoms and if you should see a doctor. When should I call my GP, NHS 111 or 999? Get an urgent GP appointment or call NHS 111 if your child is unwell and getting worse, is eating much less than normal, has fewer wet nappies or is peeing less than usual or showing other signs of dehydration, is under three months old and has a temperature of 38 degrees centigrade or higher, is older than three months and has a temperature of 39 degrees centigrade or higher, feels sweaty or is hotter than usual, is very tired or irritable. Call 999 or go to A&E if your child has difficulty breathing or pauses between breaths, has blue or gray skin, tongue or lips, on black or brown skin, this may be easier to see on the palms of the hands or soles of the feet, is floppy, won't wake up or stay awake. How is Strep A treated? Antibiotics can kill the bacteria that cause infections. If your child has difficulty fighting off infections, your doctor might prescribe antibiotics, even if they don't have Strep A, to reduce the chance of infection. Rest over-the-counter medicines and home remedies can also help with symptoms. If your child has a more serious Strep A infection, they will need to be treated in hospital with antibiotics through a needle or tube inserted into a vein. To find out more about Strep A, visit www.contact.org.uk forward slash strep-a.